Um, I went vegan in 2016. I watched the video of uh, Gary Yorovsky's speech. Yep. And uh, um, like on the link to it, there was your video. Sick. Saw that. And I was like, man, you know, going in vegan, you know, absolutely, you know, going, going, going vegan. Wow. So yeah, yeah. So you've been vegan ever since? Ever since, ever since. So it's been allowed like now one year and a half. Wow. It has been good, you know. Awesome. So that's what YouTube's very powerful, isn't it? Incredible. It's very good. Y'all know me, still the same OG, but I've been low key. So what's going on there, bro? Nah, uh, there's blood everywhere. I don't know, they just killed a cow. Why did they kill her, do you know? Nah, I'm not too sure. Like, behind your shoulder this way, the other way? So cows hanging up? Oh, f Yeah? That's pretty shitty treatment. It's pretty standard for uh, dairy industry, you know that? Oh, ee, what the f is that? So what do you think of that, mate? Oh, uh, I think it's pretty normal, like... Isn't like, that's, 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 that's how, like, cows, like, you know? Yeah, but how did it make you feel? Oh, it's pretty shit, like, yeah. yeah. Do you think they deserve that treatment so we can drink their milk? I think that's what they're made for. Cows are made for that? That's how we're going to drink the milk, isn't it? Yeah. But you know you can get like plant milks that don't involve that violence. Yeah, true, but like... Like rice milk and almond milk and soy milk. I don't know, but I think that's pretty normal. That's, yeah. that's, do you think that's if that, what some of the animals are for. Like, yeah. Do you meat, think if they were made for that, milk. they would... If they were made to do that, do you think they would be more willing participants and not so scared and not want to die and stuff? Yeah, probably, but... Yeah. I guess I guess that that's what they're made for. Still, like I'm still. Sick. Does that make it okay though? That's what I want to ask you. Does that make it okay if they were bred for that? Isn't that legal? Yeah, but just because it's legal, does it doesn't mean it's okay? Like in the cow's eyes. All right. Do you think so? Like, I think I think so, but I, I still think they serve a purpose. Yeah. Like that's what they're there for. Okay. So you think it's okay as long as we can steal their baby's milk and kill them? It's okay. Yeah, it's pretty alright. Like. I don't see a problem with it. Like, he, that's, how, that's how you get meat. Isn't that how you get meat? Yeah, that's how we get meat. Yeah. That, we're arguing we don't need it to survive, so, like, oh, it's unjustified. I need milk. To, I need meat to survive. That I'm talking about myself here. I need meat, I need chicken, I need all that shit. You need it? Yeah. I have to eat that shit. What am I going to survive? What if I could get you an alternative that tastes exactly the same? Which is what? Plant based meat. That's weird. No, no, you can get it. Alright. You try it. I'll try it. You try it. I will try it. Boom. Awesome, mate. Thanks, mate. All good, man. Hey, I'll give you some more information. Look all the way around. What can you see? It's just piglets being fed by their mum. In, in crates? Yeah, sort of thing, yeah. Like they're in cages kind of thing? Yeah. Is that its guts? On the floor? Yeah. Is the pig actually dead? No, the pig's been giving birth, so it's probably after birth. Oh, okay. They keep them in there for six weeks at a time. Farrowing crates. No, the piglets are being tortured by the looks of it. <laughs> piglets? Yeah. What's happening to them? They're having their teeth cut or their ears notched or their tails clipped. Ouch. Or their testicles are ripped out without anaesthetic. Ooh. Yeah. That's pretty standard practice for all piglets. You eat pork products and bacon and stuff like that? Yeah. Yeah. Just to explain to everyone what you can see. I see a cow. A cow? Yeah. What's she doing? She's, she's stuck in like a metal like... Cage? Yeah. Oh. What happened? She's just stuck in the thing like she's not... Uh, what's going on around you? Can you see around you? The guy is like, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? What's happening, man? Just seeing all the, like, pigs in their cages. Confined? Yeah, it's really tight. It's not that bad. It's not that bad? Not that bad. Are you, are you putting yourself in the pig's position, or are you just saying it because they're pigs? It's like, it'd be bad for them, obviously, but... Bad for them? But we're kind of higher than them, as bad as that sounds. Yeah, but you can understand that would be a hard position to be in, yeah? Yeah. They're only pigs though, as bad as that sounds as well. They're only pigs? What if they were dogs? They're dogs. Yeah. If they were dogs in there? I see you getting that. Dogs and pigs are about the same? Sort of, we just don't eat one of them. 
Why? And one of them's cuter. Hey, I've seen some pretty cute pigs, man. Yeah, when they're piglets. What's happening? He's like got like this weird thing and he's like moving it over the cow. Oh my god, oh my god. Is there cows around? No. What's happening? He's in a room and it's like covered in red. Uh, they're getting chained up. They're getting chained up? Yeah. What's happening to their necks? I'm not sure. What does it look like? It's like this clamp on their head. Okay, so they're getting stunned? Yeah. Stunned before they're killed? Well, I guess at least they don't feel it necessarily. They don't feel getting electrocuted? I don't feel that. Oh, this would be better than getting ripped open, I suppose. A lot of the stunning do doesn't actually work. It's not that effective. Okay. So a lot of them do get killed while they're fully conscious, stabbed in the throat. I think the only gross thing is seeing people actually enjoy doing this. Okay, well, who do you think is more responsible, them doing it or us for buying it and putting them in work? I don't know. It's kind of both ways, isn't it? We're both just as responsible, yeah? Like, we enjoy eating it. Yeah. I just, uh, we don't feel the responsibility of having to do this. But you're starting to feel it now, eh? Bit wheezy, yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Are there cows hanging up? If we're meant to eat animals, why does it make us feel wheezy? Well, you got to think about it in the animal perspective, like the animal food chain, the lions eat gazelles. Like, yeah. why don't they get? Why don't we have a go at them about it? No, I'm just saying, do lions get queasy when they eat a gazelle? Probably not, but we have more emotions than they do. Yeah, I don't think. Do you think that maybe that indicates what we're supposed to be eating and what we're not? Probably not. It's just our brains are more developed than theirs are, so we can feel more higher empathy than they could. So we feel empathy, do you reckon we're going against our natural instincts by stabbing animals to death for food? Not necessarily, because technically we're animals aren't we? We're just higher base. What are you seeing? Them being like, bled out. So if we've got plant based alternatives now in society, do you think, you know, we're sort of obligated to maybe choose the cruelty free option? You have a choice obviously, but it's really up to you if you want to choose to eat meat or not, isn't it? Yeah, well, you can choose to support animal cruelty or not. It doesn't mean I don't support it, I just enjoy the food. So you want to eat the, the bacon, but... I just but feel like there should be a better way of getting the meat from them. Like a more sanitary, obviously, like, less harmful way. Does it feel like you're there? I don't want to... <laughs> oh my god. So was that the dare? I'm not sure which one you were actually watching. Let's just have a look at that. Oh, okay, so that's that was a slaughterhouse. Your position is basically if there's a, a better way to do it, then that would make it okay. No, it's not exactly okay, but like if there's a better better way of doing it, people wouldn't look so bad on it. Like yeah. if they were like put to sleep and then what was in a paper if it kept like that, like kept nicely, you know, looked after, and then maybe taken out. So we've got like 7 billion people on earth, they all want to eat pigs, they have to p produce them in these factory farms, so, you know, there's no real way of doing it nicely, and, and let's just say the pig was looked after, cared for, and wanted to live, do you think it's even more of an injustice to I take think, their life from them? I think it wouldn't be too bad to actually do it at an older age, because it would just be like turning off someone like passing away, like yeah. they're at the end of the day, is obviously like, it's not the yeah. worst thing. So if they died natural causes it would be better? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Or so they're killed at around six months old for, for like, bacon. Or like when you put your dog to sleep, like they get an injection. If we did something like that at an older age for them, instead of taking them out so young, it wouldn't be as bad. You wouldn't look at it for them like, oh, the poor yeah. chicken. So like, like if we did that, that would mean that the pig was suffering and they wanted to be put out of their misery, so we'd give them like a you know, lethal injection or something. Yeah, necessarily. So that's different to what we do to them for food. We're doing it unnecessarily. Yeah, so the way we're doing it is probably not the best way, but... I think that might have been uh, the dairy industry. Where that's what happens to the cows after, the, after they're, they're done producing milk and things like that. Yeah. So they take them to the slaughterhouse. Um, yeah. Did you understand, did you know that that's what happens when we have animal products? I, I knew about it, I just didn't realise what was actually happening there. Yeah. It's like, oh. Yeah, so what they do is they take the baby away from the, the cow, they kill the baby, 
and then the cow uh, produces milk and we take her milk until she can't produce it anymore then we kill her like that that's so we can have dairy yeah I don't eat dairy so <laughs> okay and the beef and beef and other yeah. animal products as well have you ever thought about um, a vegan lifestyle yes you have because you mm. obviously empathize a lot with animals yeah yeah I just I just don't think if we're gonna eat meat I don't think we should be killing them like that I don't think we should like it's just not I mean like it's just it's not right it's disgusting. do you think there's a nice way to kill an animal that wants to, to live no they want to live and just we should just leave them alone maybe yep <laughs> so with veganism we don't have to kill them at all no you just just leave them alone <laughs> Do you think there is a, a, a good way to kill an animal that wants to live, they want to live, they don't want to die? We don't know if they want to live or not. There's a lot of us that have like a depression, we don't want to live, but you know, we don't know what they're thinking. Well, let's just say they want, so a happy pig wants to live, yeah? I suppose. You, you don't know. But you wouldn't know if they're happy or not though, would you? No, they show you, like, like you know when a dog's happy, yeah? Yeah, I suppose. And what do they show that when they're happy? Like? I guess they just smile. <laughs> they smile, they wag their tail, they, yeah. they show affection. Yeah. So like a pig would probably... Yeah. Yeah, you know, like a sad pig looks sad. That's what I'm saying, because you're... Obviously, your thing would be good if you just brought it up and try to fight the cause, but I reckon, yeah, getting him at an older age, getting it so it's not as bad, obviously, like putting him to sleep, yeah. maybe. I don't think that's be possible, feeding seven billion people pigs that have died of old age. The amount of stock we have, though, it wouldn't be that hard to do. And if they make, and there's a lot of like bacon's and stuff out there that's like generic anyway. It's I've got a, a I've got a, bacon. I've got a solution that would solve it like overnight. What's that? Going vegan. Well, I think maybe you're already a vegan inside your heart, yeah. Yeah, maybe. You don't think it's right or justified to do that to animals for no reason, yeah? I mean, we wouldn't do it to our pets, so why would we do it to any other animal? You know? They feel pain and suffer and, and joy and pleasure and they want to live, uh, have a family and live in peace just like our dogs do. Yeah, exactly. So just, yeah. How about I give you some more information? It's called a 22-day vegan challenge, okay? okay? And you can try it for 22 days and you'll be assigned a mentor, like on Facebook, and they can talk you through it and you can just do it for 22 days and find out some more information. How about okay. that? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the problem is you don't get enough nutrients. Like, you do get the same as meat, but it's not enough. Where does the animal get the nutrients from in their flesh? Obviously from... The from plants? Eat. Yeah, but the body produces that nutrients into a more high standard so we can eat it. So you don't think you can be healthy as a vegan? You could be healthy, but, like, say if you wanted to, say, go to gym or something, you, you need a certain amount of nutrients and, like, protein. Um, protein. Like, so you can get a lot of protein from... Yeah. Do you know where protein originally come from? Yeah, yeah. I know where you can get it from, but, like, plants. I've had a lot of friends that had to quit being vegan because they weren't getting enough iron and nutrients from their, their like, plant based So do you think that, that that's an argument against veganism or just that they didn't plan their diet pro properly? Like it's not just that, it's just they couldn't get enough intake and they didn't have enough money to buy the vegan food to be able to sustain being vegan and oh, do really? what they want to do. It's too expensive? Yeah, it's not exactly cheap for some of the products. Okay, so some of the fake, fake meats and cheeses and stuff you mean. What about things like potatoes, beans, pasta, rice? Yeah, that's right. But you They're cheap? To, you'd have to eat a lot of it though to get the right intake though. Have you ever tried going vegan? No. Would you try it for 22 days? Would you try it for 22 days to see? I guess. Challenge22.com. Yeah. It's how easy you sign up and then you can just try it for 22 days. Yeah. And this is a good film, whatthehealthfilm.com. It's another avenue that explores all the health things and why, why it's bad for our health, why it's yeah. killing us. So you see the sort of the wheel of karma, it's killing, killing the animals and, and it's and then giving us heart yeah. disease and stuff. So. Most vegans I know, unless they poorly plan their diet, are healthy, they're strong, weightlifters, boxers, you know, there's yeah. evidence of vegan uh, athletes all over the place. So if you can be healthy and uh, live a cruelty free lifestyle without doing that to pigs or cows for like like a sandwich would you do it? I suppose yeah. You'd try it? Yeah sure. Alright I'll give you some more information and then plant some seeds and see what see what you leave with yeah? Alright. Alright sure. too easy mate. Oh my god. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I thought it was going to be um, it, sh it must have played straight from the slaughterhouse part. Yeah. It's supposed to show you the whole process. Yeah. Like the calf getting taken away. And yeah. It's just a horrific practice that doesn't need to happen. We don't need to be doing this. It's not yeah. necessary for our health. We can be healthy without it. Mm. But thanks a lot. Thank you. Oh my god. Challenge 22. Yeah. And you know, YouTube's full of great information. If you want to check out my YouTube channel, it's called Joey Carbstrong. Okay. Joey Carbstrong. This video will be posted on there. And I've got a lot of educational videos about um, 
you know, veganism and stuff yeah. like that. So, okay. thanks, heaps. Um, your friend as well, uh, the dude from uh, Sydney, um, Aspie, James Aspie, James Aspie. Yeah. I saw his. He's good, yeah. As well, you know, he's very good as well, you know. And I was like, man, you know. Come on, come on. I see no changes.